Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a Millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did I stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? Also, it is storming its butt off in Knoxville today. Beans has been very clean. Usually, I mean, she doesn't enjoy the rain, but I found out today that I think she's actually scared of thunderstorms because it's been thundering and lightning. So I hope I don't lose power while filming, but this little baby has been so clingy today. You have. That okay. Mama always take care of you. I am very excited for today's movie. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching Nine to five, which I only thought it'd be appropriate to wear my Still Magnolia shirt since Dolly Parton is in this. There's a little Still Magnolia in every Southern Belle. Felt appropriate. Don't bite. Don't bite. You can lick, but you cannot bite. Now, I've told, I've, I've told like the live streams this before that when I was in college about seven years ago, I was actually in the musical nine to five. I've never seen the movie. So, in the musical 9 to 5, I auditioned for the role of Judy. I did not get it. Instead, I was placed in ensemble. It was still fun regardless. So I don't know how much the musical, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Deviates, I guess, uh, from the movie. I don't know how many of the songs, if any of them are going to be in this. Well, I would guess the song 9 to 5 is in it because it's literally the title. Dolly Parton literally wrote it for this. So, And have you seen where... The story about how she came up with the with the with the beat for it is she actually used her ac acrylic nails, you know. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. If you don't believe me, you can look up that video. I also know in this film, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin are in it, and I love those two women so much in the Netflix series Grace and Frankie. That's how I got introduced to Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. I love them in it. If you haven't watched it, I think it finally, I think there's like five seasons. I love it. Very funny. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, which I don't think I've seen either of them young in a movie yet. And Dolly Parton. Like, come on. Come on. So I am already very excited. Am I going to give this movie five out of five stars just because of Dolly Parton? Maybe, but it doesn't matter. Regardless, no more diddle dallying. For today's Millennial Movie Monday, it is a nine to five starring Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin. Whoop. We just start off with the song. We just start off with nine to five. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Out on the street, the traffic starts jumping. But folks like me on the job from nine to five. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Barely getting by. It's all taken and no giving. They just use your mind and they never give you credit. It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it. With glasses like that you could see four miles around. You could even look through buildings. <laughs> Okay, I really entertained myself with that bit, but those are some big glasses. I am sympathetic. Mother. Oh, Please look at Lily Tomlin. Right? I think she is so funny. I think she is beautiful. Jerry should never, I'd be better off. I could have divorced him. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to need a special locker for the hat. <laughs> I remember that line from the play. Five minutes just to find a parking Is that place. Jane Fonda? It doesn't look like her, but it sounds like her. How am I ever going to get out of this mailroom prison if they keep hiring people from the outside? Oh, that does suck. I'm sorry, Eddie. And it makes sense that you would be frustrated. It sounds so big. It is. <laughs> That's what she said. Talk to you about Mr. Hart's rules on office decor. You have rules on office decor? Oh, what? Coffee cups on the desks. No personal items left in view. So don't decorate at all is what you're telling me. So the place is like a prison. Bye, beans. We're all a pretty happy bunch. Are you? <laughs> Are you really? I want to gossip in the ladies' room. I check first under the stalls for her shoes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Frog so fast to the top in my life, and I have the bad back to prove it. <laughs> in fact, I'm the one who trained him. Ooh, I hate that. 
If there is a word to describe my philosophy of business... Please tell me the word. It's teamwork. If a boss ever says that, you know immediately it is bullshit. <laughs> it's weakest link. <laughs> Your weak link... We <laughs> Your weak link is that fat ass! Cut the balls off the competition, be sitting pretty right on top of the hill. A hill of balls? Well, you're a welcome addition, and a damn pretty one, too, if I might add. Oh, don't be like that. Damn it, you know, I've been standing up here for five minutes talking about teamwork. You can't go pick your wife out of scarf? My job description doesn't say anything about making purchases for your wife. Good for you. So when I ask an employee, especially one who wants to be promoted to management... Oh, I hate it when people dangle that shit over your head. My office on this, this floor is to be close to my girls, okay? Ooh, it, oh my god, he's giving me the ick. My girls. Ah! Yes. Look at her! Not feeling one tank, I'm feeling another. Uh, careful with that girl. How do you do? Hope everybody's been treating you real friendly. Judy, what are you looking at on her, girl? Because it's sure ain't her eyes. <laughs> yeah. We're not all that blessed, are we, Judy? A fun fact about me, I have never had to use a typewriter ever. I would not even know how to load one. I, d I don't even know how to put the paper in it. Why doesn't he ask Dora Lee? Why does she say by herself? She is banging the boss. She and Mr. Hart? No, girl, what other boss have you met today? Why did Dolly go through this hair phase? That's awful hair. Hold it right there. Turn around in a second. Oh my God, don't be weird. Here, let me... You dirty. Ooh, you just burped. Been chased by swifter men than you, and I ain't been caught yet. <laughs> I love that. A dumb secretary, so I... Well, she's not a dumb secretary, you douche. It's also very nothing. Is that the very scarf I'm... that Lily picked out? Or Violet, that Violet picked out? Oh, oh, that's oh, oh. Did you hurt yourself? No. no, just his pride and ego is bruised. And you are so attractive. You're sweet. I appreciate that. I wonder if Dolly still has the Doralee necklace. You think I'm going to spend four weeks of my life drifting around on that Dago boat? With your wife? Yeah! Yeah! Day drinking? Hanging out? Chilling? That's, that's the scarf you bought. Okay, so I was right. That is the same scarf. Several people have lost their hearing in this room. What is this? It's start to print. It's going to feed right... This is an old printer? Okay, so this is just an old ass printer. Got it. Uh, is it filing it as well? I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Rough first day. Also, all those papers were yellow. Oh, they're stacking on top of each other. Okay. Oh, baby girl. Oh, honey. Okay. Well, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, rough first impression. Rough first impression. Don't cry. Don't show weakness. Don't cry. Don't let them see you cry. Dick? What? <laughs> I just dropped by to give you these papers. Oh, to drop off the last of the divorce papers? How's Liza? Fine. She's waiting in the car. You brought your side hoe to drop off your divorce papers? Judy, you could do so much better than that, okay? You could do so much better than that. Lord? You know what? I respect it, though. Come on, no fighting. I like that shoulder Believe holder me, there is more than for one the phone. And banana sandwich. That's a lot better than... What? Being like that all day, you know? Well, I'm afraid I, I can't, thanks. Well, well, maybe Judy, don't be... Don't follow everybody else's example. Is this movie gonna make me cry about Dolly Parton not being liked? Everybody treats me like a bastard at a family reunion. Dolly, watch your mouth. So I'm gonna give you a real warm reception. <laughs> Lord, what? Okay, okay, Dora Lee. Get you some of that, baby. <gasps> Look at you go, Judy! You're doing so good on the Xerox machine today! Efficiency by up to 20%. Oh, color coding. Sure, I looked in. Mm -hmm. It seems like you really did a lot of research on it, friend. Did you get my memo? I did, Roz. I tore right through it. I bet you did. Color coding the account from now on. Frank's done a brilliant study with... I now understand the line of the song where she says they don't give you credit. To a woman with four kids installing a garage door. You don't need no man! I'm gonna rule you a joint. Josh. Excuse me? The devil's lettuce? Slip it in my purse. That's what's up. Take the edge off. I respect it. For Christ's sake, I trained him. I know that, but... You also trained Mr. Hart. He does have a family to support. And I don't. She has four kids with no partner. Her husband died. 
Don't you ever refer to me as your girl again. There you go. Or even your mistress. What? What? He has. You don't get told on. Violet, where are you going? I'm gonna get drunk. Hell yeah, you are! And I'm gonna change you from a rooster to a hen with one shot. Love it. Love the fire. Love the passion. Love it. Out of girl. Why don't you leave and join them? Or offer us some of your drink in your locker? Did you hear what I said? Fire the bitch. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Girl, cry. Let it out. Sometimes we just have to have a good cry. Oh, wait till you leave the workplace, though. Don't let them see you cry. I tell her this is a disgrace. That a girl. That's how I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be everybody's hype woman. Twelve years of service and he shoots me down. And steals your idea for the color-coded stuff. I've really got it. <gasps> What's a doobie? This is a gift from my son. Judy had to put on her glasses. She said, Lord, is that one of them there left-handed cigarettes? Would you two show a little spunk? Show a little spunk for the skunk, you know what I'm saying? Old-fashioned ladies pop party. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly didn't do it right the first time, baby girl. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe we don't handle that while we're high. Maybe we don't do that. Right, I have to blame God it for me. I was going to say, y'all doing great not coughing. <laughs> New life goal that I'm absolutely not going to is... achieve. Get high with Lily Tomlin. <laughs> Maui Wowie. Well, I love it. <laughs> Go out in the woods and shoot those poor defenseless animals. T to eat them. <laughs> okay, it is official. I am a Dolly Parton looking for my Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, okay? I'm or I'll be a Lily. I don't think I'm a Jane. Am I stoned? I'll be, I'm a Lily Tomlin looking for my Dolly and Jane, you know what I'm saying? You know, if the dogs didn't track him through that door, they're not very good search dogs. A ward on the nose of humanity and I'm going to blast it. Oh my god, okay. Descriptive. You, you can't mean this. Okay, Andy Oakley. Okay, you know what? This is a very fun dream sequence. I don't think this is exactly how the dream goes down in the play, but I can't remember now, so... Okay, that is hilarious! That is so funny! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do we have the munchies, ladies? Mm. Everything tastes so wonderful, I can't get... It does. It really does. What are the odds that that was really Dolly Parton on that horse? <laughs> Grab your pad and pencil and get your buns in here. Hey, man, girl, tell them what to do. Well, you got a nice ass. Oh, my God. I mean, you got a nice package. You might as well just show it off. Cup it a little bit. Just. That stuff's turning me on. What's that called? Stud. It makes me uncomfortable even when it's coming from her. And how about unbuttoning that coat and your shirt? You need to lose. Lord, we, we getting very casual in the office today. In the evening, but you're my boy from nine to five. Oh, it's icky. She's gonna rope him? No! This is hilarious. Come on, let's hog tie. Put their hands together, put their feet together, right through the middle. Here we go, loop de loop. You know, something gruesome and horrible and real good. Tell me every detail. Yes, sir. Oh, Lily Tomlin as Snow White. Yes, love it. Along with animal sidekicks, even better. <laughs> I do some weird shit with you guys, don't I? <gasps> is that your cocaine ring? Oh. Oh, it's rat poison, isn't it? Or something. Some kind of poison. Don't lick the spoon. Don't lick this. Oh, there's no spoon to lick! <laughs> Girl, if you're seeing animals in the office, you're doing something a little harder than marijuana. Okay, uh, that's something to do. Oh God, not only are we gonna poison him, we're throwing him from the from the floor. Okay, I love this moment. I am loving this, all of it. Oh my God, the other workers are like in the dungeon and their chains are coming off. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, to be dressed in medieval queen dresses with Dolly, Lily, and Jane. Oh, to be living that dream. I just had the best time. 
the best time. Left this morning on a two-month cruise with the South Sea. His wife left for two months on a cruise without him? She's ordering me around like I'm some sort of flunky. I... Tell me how you really feel. God help Mr. Hart, because I won't be responsible for my actions. Well, I'm hoping, I'm, 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 I hope I'm around to see this happen. Oh, so the rat poison was in real life. I thought it was in her dream. Now don't ever call me at this number again. Sure. I don't understand what just happened. I don't know what they're talking about. Lord? But he spilled the poisoned coffee. It's a hot. Oh, so he just fell over, got knocked out. Okay, got it. Wait. You had to cover typewriter? Oh my God. Yeah, girl. You think you poisoned him. Roz, are you secretly in love with your boss? I know she's in the play, but like, is she in this movie too? And the rat. The rat. I don't think the rat's on the artificial sweetener either. You know what? I've never been knocked unconscious before. Don't know why that was an important side story for you, but there you go. A lot of hospital bills. Doctor's fees, not for the bump on the head. Well, you're gonna have to pay for that ambulance ride anyway, so might as well get the x-rays. He's our only witness. We have them all ready to testify. Now this. Well, I would like to know the rest of that story. What the hell's happening there? God, there's a policeman. <sighs> or they don't know that it's for somebody else. Yeah, how is he, Doc? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? It was some kind of poison. Poison? Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Lily Tomlin, you gonna need a couple more of them marijuana cigarettes to calm your nerves. Then the rat poison. Oh, no, that no, they're not going to pin it on you if you don't tell nobody. They're going to pin it on Dora Lee because she's the one who always gets this coffee. She was thinking about doing it last night. We were all thinking about doing it. I was going to say, don't pin it on her like that. We're all in the same boat here. Fool, I killed the boss. You think they're not going to fire me for a thing like that? Fire you? Arrest you, girl! Please tell me hospitals really don't leave just dead bodies out in the middle of the hallway like that. Um, also in the musical, I was part of the ensemble, but then I had a costume change and I was the girl who wheeled out the dead body on stage. Oh, we just gonna add another felony to this, impersonating a doctor. Girl, what's your plan with a dead body? What is your plan right now? Could you tell me where the coffee shop is, please? What? Oh, I'm a liar! I was the candy girl! I had that kind of dress. I was the candy girl. How did he... Coffee. <laughs> Okay, see, see, then she looked like Jane Fonda, but the whole rest of this other time in the movie, she didn't look like herself. She's gonna steal this body? Are you kidding me? In the musical, they just roll the dead body off stage. Th this is multiple felonies. This is a lot of felonies happening. My brain just said, well, they'll check the cameras and they'll find out who did it. There's no way there were cameras in this hospital during this year. A restaurant? How can you think of food at a- Well, I stress eat too. <laughs> Just when I thought this situation could get worse. Crowbar or something. There's a tire iron in the trunk. There's also a dead body back there! <gasps> yeah, it's not him. You gonna tell him? Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> How do we return an unknown body? What do you mean you don't know? What happened to Hart's body? Well, girl, we just didn't have a spare one to change it out with. That's the one you took! I Why do you keep staring at me? What about- Will you two shut up? I, I would like to be a member of this girl gang. We can just find a wheelchair. I saw a couple. We're just gonna put the dead body in the wheelchair? For it? I don't know, but I've got my gun. Dolly, oh, you're gonna shoot a police officer when you have a dead body in the trunk? What does he want? I don't know what he wants, but we got- None of this was in the musical! None of it! No. Well, there must be a short in the trunk. No, he's a average height, I think. Which one of you is sick? I am. Oh my god. She, she is. is. Well, uh, get on the same page. It looks just like skinny and sweet, except for the little skull and crawl. And the rat, again. I don't think I breathed that entire conversation. I was so invested in the lie and how they were gonna get out of it. Go to the office in the morning and pretend like nothing has happened. Did y'all drop off the body? Hey, Bear. We got another stiff in the jar. Oh my God. I mean, all that running around last night. Oh, are y'all in the bathroom? You better check for Roz's shoes. Oh, Roz, you freaking weirdo, man. What? Okay. Stealing corpses, eluding the police. Impersonating a doctor. Violet and the girl Judy tried to murder me yesterday. Oh my God. You come over to my house tonight and I'll just uh, forget the whole thing. Oh yeah, and not to work. Or 
evil. That's right, evil to the core. If Dolly Parton yelled at me, I'd probably cry. Oh, little chicken. Gonna listen to me. Lord, we got some BDSM and that D stands for Dolly. Yeah, well, yeah, but he's uh, he's tied up. <laughs> but I'm tired. Look at Mr. Hart. Yeah, Judy, look, you just undid all of what Doralee did. The word. <laughs> I lied. Why would you trust him ever, Judy? <laughs> well, don't shoot with your eyes closed. He, he was gonna call the police. Well, you just made it worse, baby girl. <laughs> we have to do something. We can't just keep him here forever. That kitchen is very bright. A lot of fun colors in the kitchen. Blackmail. Oh, that sounds good. What could we get? Sexual harassment in the workplace. Wait a minute, what's this doing here? Oh, we gonna get him on embezzlement? Is he embezzling? Climb up to the window, y'all in skirts and high heels. Get it, Lily. Good for you, girl. Said they gave him 15 years for embezzlement. I was right! But it should wear well and, and be comfortable. I wouldn't worry about his comfort if you're holding someone against their will. <laughs> All the, the daytime soap operas. So they're gonna let him walk around the house? What's gonna stop him from walking out? Mine. I see now. Judy Burnley, please hold. Look at how good she's Hello, gotten the, at answering the phone. I'm proud of her. A garage door opener. Did you want a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's good. This is brilliant. Lord, why Mr. Hart kind of got a little bit of a dump truck back there? Yeah, but that's only two weeks. We've got to keep her away longer than that. Those Italian cruises his wife was looking at was like four weeks long. Bonjour. Bonjour. You're doing great, Roz. I'm sorry, baby. I think I'll have Hart send her some flowers in Tahiti. That's very kind of Mr. Hart. See, I just love... Okay, I love that she's like, thank you for not smoking, but I guarantee you that ain't water in that cup. Ah, sand through the, through, the, through the hourglass. So are the days so of our lives. My mama used to watch Days of Our Lives all the time. Who is this guy taking notes all of a sudden? Listen, by the time you cut through all that leather that you got on you, it's you're done for anyway, so it's okay. You know what? Keep, keep sawing away. You're doing great. Okay, Jane Fonda is a literal goddess. Oh, her ex-husband? Well, all right, you sit down, and but then you're going to have to go. So in the musical, this is where she sings the favorite song. This is the only reason why I wanted to be Judy is because the song is called Get Out and Stay Out. And let me tell you something, I just love it so much. It's such, it's like, uh, such an empowering song, and I just love it. Nothing worked. She left after the first week. Well, it's funny how you waltzed in here, assuming I'd come back. Oh my god, now Dick's gonna be involved. Why did y'all leave any furniture in that room other than the bed? If I were gonna kidnap somebody, they'd have nothing but the bare necessities. Somebody in that room, let me see. Oh. <laughs> I can't explain! That's right, all of it. I'm into everything. Now get out of here. I'm into everything now! Or, or play play sex games, or do M&Ms. You <laughs> As a matter of fact, I smoke pot. God, you're reckless, Judy! Oh, yes, there is. It's a Get out and stay out. It's such a good song. If y'all never heard the musical, like, y'all need to look up the soundtrack. It's very good. Oh, the wife coming back from vacation. Why is she home early? Girl, I'm all about having a good time, but that hat is not it. He ain't never been that happy to see her ever in their entire marriage, I swear to God. He's trying out some kind of a new exercise program at the house. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Oh, I love that blue phone though. Judy. You found your gun. I can, I can see that, Judy. Thank you for the explanation. Well, while you were away, we managed to make a few changes. Hart, are you not worried about somebody just seeing you holding a gun to them? <gasps> Fine! Uh, I love this for everybody! Colors and stuff! Play my last card. I'm gonna send you three bitches to jail. Let's go! Let's go! Look at them. They kidnapped you. You think they can't handle themselves in jail? Kinsworthy's here. Who's that? Oh! He's the highest of the highest up! I didn't realize Colonel Sanders did fried chicken and office supplies! <laughs> but I keep tabs on the situation through Perkins, right? Oh, the guy who's taking notes. Uh-huh. Like the, like the job sharing program. Tell him about it, Frank, since you know so much about it. Well, thank you. Thank you. I can see why Frank reposes such trust in you. Are we going to tell on Frank or not? But thanks to the company's alcoholics rehabilitation program, you... Good for you, 
girl. That, uh, that equal pay thing, though, that's, uh, that's got to be... <laughs> I ain't the kind of boy who takes no for an answer. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem like a great way to run a business, but... Is your heart? Oh. Roz, we got some big news for you, girl. That... Look at them! Oh, they're just the cutest ever! Remain calm in a crisis. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? Mary the Xerox representative! <laughs> Hopefully she made the user manual. Oh, did she? I wonder if she had a good career. Maybe open a theme park or two? One. Pour one out for the homies. Sometimes eight to four and sometimes ten to six because of flexible hours implemented by the women. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. In this moment, okay. <laughs> okay, I love this movie. Number one. I was in the play like seven years ago and I remember I was the candy girl. When Violet Newstead was running the dead body around, right? But I can't remember how the musical plays that off because I don't, I had no memory of like the embezzlement, like the Ajax warehouse, no memory of any of that. So I can't remember how, how the play plays it off. I said it in the preview review, I'm gonna say it again because you can't say it enough. I love Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin. I also just love Lily Tomlin. Her character in Grace and Frankie, she's Frankie, and I want to be her. I want to be Lily Tomlin. Oh my god, to picture, to picture all of them smoking weed. Also, also, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I really feel like my BDSM joke in the D stands for Dolly. I feel like that was really clever. <laughs> play like the one that was like we're gonna have to get a locker for that hat. I love this movie. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what I'm gonna give it. Five out of five stars. This movie has not aged a bit. I think it's great. Other than the typewriter and the fashion, like this is still so great. And I really like how at the end of the credits that it says the producer gratefully acknowledges the help and encouragement of working women the National Association of Office Workers in the making of this film. Very interesting. Very good. Very very nice. Very excellent. That is very much adequate. Okay. I rub the hell out of my eyeballs. Do you ever rub your eyes so hard that you're scared they're like gonna pop in there? Cause that was me just now. Okay. Nine to five. Five out of five stars. So glad that I watched the movie as well as having the musical knowledge. And if anything, if anything, this has just reignited my passion to audition again as Judy for the musical nine to five, which I don't think is coming up anywhere around here. But let me tell you something, if it is, I'll be the first in line to audition. Okay, y'all have, y'all, y'all never steer me wrong. You really never do. And I love that about y'all. Y'all really just be out here watching out for a girl. Anyways, this movie, five out of five stars. Um, also, if you've watched this far, I have a new <clears throat> series starting on the second channel that I'll link in the corner up here Wednesday. And uh, you're going to see me and editing Ashley and a brand new Ashley. Her name is Business Ashley. You're gonna see her that's up on the second channel on a Wednesday. I don't know what's coming up this Friday in this moment. So please stick around. I have a poll up on Patreon for the next couple of Mondays. So you better like, subscribe, stick around so we can both be surprised. <laughs> All right, I'll see you right back here. Well, I'll see you on the second channel on Wednesday. I'll see you right back here on Friday. Links to social media down below if you wanna be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And I will see you right back here on Friday. Bye.